Fun fact, the first part of this solo is also the hardest part. So, let's check it out. No, it's hard because of the tempo. Um, but it's still, still makeable. You don't have to worry, we will get this. Okay, in the first two bars we are outlining a D major 7 arpeggio. And the first bar goes like this. <laughs> First we are playing this D major 7 shape or this D major 7 arpeggio. We are starting on the root, pulling back to the th uh, major 7 and hammering back to the root, playing the 3rd and the 5th, going back to the root and then the 3rd and the 5th again. 12th fret, 11th fret, 12th fret, 11, 14. Now we are going to the same shape, just an octave higher, but here we are starting on the major 7. Playing the major 7, root, 3rd, 5th. The frets are 14, 15, 14, 17. Then we are tapping on the 21th fret on the high E string, which is the major 7 again. Oops. Pulling back to the 5th, 3rd, playing the root, major 7, playing the 6th, which is in the 16th fret of the G string, the 4th, uh, the 5th again, sorry, this time with our index finger, then sliding to the 3rd, and playing this hammer on and pull off passage, which is 12, 11, 12, 14. So we have... Now, in this next bar of the D major 7 arpeggio, we're starting the same way like in the bar before. We are playing this shape. And now, instead of tapping the major 7, we are sliding to the major 7 and playing this sweep arpeggio. We have 21. 17, 19, 19, pulling to the 18th fret, 19 on the D string, going to the A string, 21s, playing the um, 17th fret on the A string and sliding to the major 7. After that we are playing this shape, this scale run from the root to the 3rd. Yeah, sorry, for the major 7, from the major 7 to the 3rd. But this time we are not playing the 3rd here in the 21th fret, we are going to the D string. Now we are in the C sharp minor 7 section. And here we are playing the C sharp minor 7 arpeggio with the same shape like in the D major 7 arpeggio, just one fret below and transformed into a C sharp minor arpeggio, minor 7 arpeggio. So, this shape is familiar. Uh, 11, 9, 11, 9, 13 are the frets. Root, minor 7, root. 3rd, minor 3rd, 5th, root, minor 3rd, 5th. And now, after that, we are in another D major 7 arpeggio shape, starting on the 5th, hammering to the major 7, so from the 10th fret on the B string to the 14th fret on the B string. I highly recommend you to do this with your index and your ring finger. Why? You will see later. Same shape, same frets, same fingering, just on the E string. So we have here the root and the major third. And after that he's playing the raised 11. The Lydian 11, the Lydian 4, which is on the 16th fret on the E string. And in the beginning I thought he would tap this note. But if you look at the video he truly play this with his index finger, so we have this big stretch, but it's possible. 
We're going back on the B string, 14, 10. Then we are going back to our C sharp minor 7 arpeggio, playing the fifths, going to the third. Now you can do this again with your pinky. And then playing this phrase. This double picking on the, th uh, on the fifths, pulling back on the third and playing the root. And going back to the seventh. Now we are starting again in the same way like in the arpeggio before. Playing this time tens and fourteenths fret with our pinky finger because we are sliding to the sixteenth fret on the E string to play this phrase, or to be able to play this phrase. So we are starting on the 16th fret on the E string. We are playing 16, pulling to the 12th fret, 14th fret on the E string, going to the 15th fret B string, 12, E string, 14 B, 15 B, 12 B, 14 B, then do we are doing this roll to the 14th fret on the G string. Going to the 12th fret B string and the 13th fret G string. Then we are going back to the D major 7 arpeggio shape. And here we are playing this line. In the next bar. This is actually the same phrase like in the first bar, but with one note before the phrase. So we're shifting the complete phrase one sixty note forward. And this changed the accent and the rhythmic of this phrase and makes it a bit more not interesting, but it makes it, it make it different. Let's check that out. We're starting on the third from the D major, eleventh uh, fret on the B G string. Sorry. 12th fret on the D string. Well, this shape is familiar, I don't have to explain it or anything. Because when we're starting on the root, the 12th fret on the D string, we're playing the same shape like in the beginning. Then we're tapping again the major 7 on the 21th fret, going back to the 17th fret, going back to the 3rd, 14th fret on the E string. Root 15th fret, major 7 14th fret, the 6th again, the 5th again, sliding back again to the 3rd, and now comes another little bit of change um, compared to the first bar. In the first bar, we, are not, we would play this phrase, but now we're playing 11, 13, 14, 11. And the last bar is exactly the same than the first bar. And now the last section of this first solo part is the scale run in F sharp minor and it goes like this. We're starting on the G string and having this shape, 13, 14, 16, which are hammered and then pulled back to the 13th fret. After that we're going to the D string playing this shape, 16, 14, 12. Same shape on the A string, 16, 14, 12, back again, 14, 16. Then we're going to the D string, playing 12, 14, 16. Then on the G string, playing 13, 14. And now we double pick the 16th fret and the uh, 14th fret. Playing then 13th fret, going back to the D string, playing this. Ascending and descending. Uh, sorry, descending and ascending. Playing the G string shape. Going to the B string, playing 14, 15. And then 70, 70, uh, 70 15, 70, 15. Fourteenth fret, going back to the shape from the G string. Playing this again, descending and ascending. Playing the shape from the B string. Going to the E string, where we have 14, 
16, 17, back again, 16, 14, then shifting between B and E string, 17th fret on the B string, 14th fret on the E string, 17th fret on the B string, 15th fret B string, 14th fret B string, and then we are bending from the 17th fret B string to the 19th fret B string. <laughs> 